Hi, I'm Carol, and welcome to this gentle yoga practice. This is a slow, steady, calming practice. We move through seated and supine on your back movements. If you find sitting cross-legged difficult, I have many options for you to consider. I've made a video that will demonstrate these options to you. There is a link below, so please check that out. You need to be comfortable to sit at the beginning of your practice so you can really focus on your breath. So when you're ready, get settled on your mat and let's begin. So finding a comfortable place to settle on your mat, a comfortable seat or laying on your back. And when you're there, allow your eyes to softly close. Check that the back teeth are lightly parted and the jaw is relaxed. Bring your attention to settle on your breath and follow your natural breath in and out. Let each inhalation be an invitation inviting in your quiet and your calm. And each exhale, a letting go breath. As you find yourself settling and when you're ready, begin to engage the breath coming into a longer, slower, deeper inhalation. And a longer, slower, deeper exhalation, easing into your practice of three-part breath, Dirga Pranayama. As you take that long, slow inhale, feel the belly rise and expand. As the breath travels to the center of the lungs, feel the baby rib in each rib above opening. And if comfortable to bring your breath to the very top of the lungs, feel that slight rise at the upper chest. Shoulders stay relaxed. Three-part breath is a controlled breath in and out, but without force or strain. Take one more long, slow breath in, maybe a slight pause, retention of breath at the very top. See if the exhale can be a little longer than the one before. And at the end, pull the belly back towards the spine, really squeezing out the bottom of the lungs. And when you're ready to take your breath in, return to your easy, natural breath. With your eyes still softly closed, just move the head or wriggle out the fingers and move the arms and the shoulders. And when you're ready to open your eyes, do so on an inhalation and let your exhale be a sigh, a stretch, whatever you need. And if you're on your back, just bring yourself up and find a comfortable seat. Press down into your cis bones when you're there. Pull the energy up the low back, mid back, upper back, up through the back and the neck to the very top of the head. So you feel really tall, long and lengthened. Tucking the chin and bringing it in close towards the throat and draping it down towards the top of the chest. Drop the shoulders and just feel that gorgeous stretch at the back of the neck. Let the chin slowly go from one side and then to the other. And just pay attention to how it feels. No rush, just move slowly from one side to the other. The next time the chin comes through center, can you drape it down the chest a little bit more? Keep the chin tucked in close towards the throat as you rise on up on an inhalation. 
And when you're there, just give yourself a little yes, a little no, whichever feels good. Bring the fingertips out to the side of your mat. Take in the right ear to the right shoulder. Drop the shoulders and pick up the left arm just a few inches off your mat. Pull the fingertips up towards the sky and pull the heel of the hand away from you. Breathe, lift tall through the spine at the back body. Gonna slowly tuck the chin and look towards the outside of your right leg or look at your right leg. And keeping that chin tucked, slowly coming forward. We're gonna take it up. So coming over to the left and looking behind you, keep that heel of that left hand pulling away from you. And then coming through center, nice and slow. When you're there, drop that right ear to your right shoulder, bring that left hand down, bring the head up. A little shoulder roll, little wriggle, fingertips out to the side of your mat. Make sure you're nice and tall and you're in a comfortable position. Take the left ear to the left shoulder, pick up the right hand, pull the fingertips up and the heel of the hand away from you, really lengthening that arm. Bringing the chin down towards in front of your left shoulder so you're looking down towards your left side. Keep that heel of that right hand pulling away from you and then bring the face back to center and slowly take the chin up and over to the right. Take the eyes out to the corners like you're looking behind you. And then slowly bring the head back to center. Keep the left ear towards the left shoulder as you bring your right hand down, then lift the head up. And then just flow the arms in a way that just feels right for you, especially for your upper back and your chest. Bring your hands together. If you've been sitting cross-legged for a while or in one position for a while, bring your legs up, bring them forward, maybe an ankle circle roll, maybe a little massage or a pommel. And then bring your feet nice and wide, about as wide as your mat would be, and rock your knees side to side. And then coming through center, walk your feet in closer together. They can be hip width apart or closer. The knees are coming over to the right. So your inside of your left ankle is in the arc of your right foot. And then bring the left hand to your right knee. Right hand close to you. I'm gonna look over your right shoulder. Bring the head back to center and look over the left shoulder. Chin power with the ground. And then come through center. Bring the hands outside the right leg and begin to walk yourself forward. Gonna come down onto the forearms. Keep the spine long. Tuck the chin and look down between the space between the lower arms. Press into the finger pads, have them nice and wide. Press into the finger pads, lift the elbows and slide the hands a little bit further away from you. Chest is lifted. And roll the shoulders, sway the shoulders side to side. Stay looking towards your mat, your ground, wherever you're looking to. And then as you roll the shoulders, begin to let the upper back, the sides of the hip move. And it's called snaking the spine. So imagine you're a snake and you're slithering around on the ground. So just take it side to side. You can make it as little or big as you wish. And then bring yourself to center. Take your hands a little bit further away from you and see if the elbows will come down. Don't force it. Look towards the ground. Nod your head. A little extra weight on that right side. Pick up the head, pick up the elbows, walk or slide the hands back in towards you. Bring the hands behind you, take your shoulders back behind your hips, pick up your legs and give them a little sway, a little dance. And then coming back to center, feet nice and wide, about as wide as your mat, and rock the knees side to side. Coming through center, sits bones underneath you. Feet in closer or together, if that feels okay. Knees are coming over to the left. So this time the inside of your right ankle is in the arc of the left foot. I'm just going to turn, you don't need to move at all. Bring your left hand close and your right hand over onto the left leg and take a look over your left shoulder. 
bring the head back to center and then take a look over your right shoulder. Coming through center. Bring the hands on either side of the left leg and then slide or walk the hands forward and find a place if you can where your lower arms come down and you can look between the space between the lower arms. Just feel that hip stretch. Then pick up the elbows, slide the hands just a little bit more forward and begin to let the shoulders roll side to side. You can see looking down towards the ground and then let the back body really move. The hips are going to move and you can make the sway side to side while you're snaking the spine as small or large as you wish. Try and be organic in your movement if you can. And then come back through center. See if you can take your fingers just a little bit further away from you and then again bring the elbows down. You're just deepening that stretch and we've got the weight over that leg. And then lift the elbows and slide or walk your hands back in towards you. And when you're there, bring your hands behind you. Take your shoulders back so you have space to lift up your legs and maybe give them a bicycle, a dance, a shake up, whatever feels good. And then coming through center, soles of the feet together, hold on to what is comfortable for you here and let the knees go up and down. And find a place where the knees will go down and maybe you can walk in towards your heels or bring your heels in a little closer towards you or a little bit of both and then press into the sits bones and rise up nice and tall just feel the puff of the chest slightly forward shoulder blades in and then pick up the legs bring them forward and give them a shake out so we're going to bring in the legs up nice and wide. We're going to do some forward folding. So if you're like me, it's best for me to sit on the edge of my yoga blanket. It helps prevent from pulling my lower back. <laughs> so it may work for you, but again, roll off the edge of your blanket if you are using a blanket to be up higher. And if it's not comfortable here, you can roll up maybe a small hand towel and have them behind your knees. But just have a comfortable width that works best for you. Bring your fingertips in front of you. Take the shoulders up and down the back. Feel the toes coming up towards the kneecaps so you can really stretch down the back of the legs here. We're going to slide or walk the hands forward. We're going to bend at the hip crease here. The spine is straight, so you may not come very low, and it doesn't matter where you go. But think about a pair of scissors coming in like this. So just bend where the shoulders can go back and your legs are straight without locking the back of the knees and the spine is straight and the belly is going back towards the spine. And then tuck the chin and roll or walk up back into yourself. We're going to do it a couple more times before we hold. So lift tall on an inhale, exhale, slide and walk the hands forward. Find a place that works for you, no force. Then tuck the chin and walk or slide the hands back in towards you. We're going to hold on the next one, so make sure you're in a comfortable place. So lift tall, bend at your hip crease, slide the hands forward. You may be up where I am, you may be higher. Your chest may be much lower to the ground than mine. But think about working the back of the legs as well as the back body where the spine is straight. Can you pull back from your fingertips and pull the shoulders down from the ears and squeeze in the shoulder blades and really engage this stretch? Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, tuck your chin, drape your head. Soften your legs as you walk or slide your hands back up into you. And when you're all the way back up, we're returning to Vatikanasana, soles of the feet together. Nice, easy butterfly wings. Up and down. And again, just hold them down where it works for you. Press into your sit bones and rise a little taller if you can. On an inhale, bring the hands underneath you. Bring your knees up. Bring your legs forward. Maybe a roll through the ankles or a little windshield wiper action might feel good. And then if you're not facing the length of your mat, then bring yourself to face your mat. Take your feet nice and wide and rock your knees side to side. We're coming down to the mat. So think about your hips, your sits bones are going to travel as you go side to side. They're going to come in closer to your feet, your heels, 
And when you're ready, bring your hands behind you, bring your elbows down, tuck your chin, bring your knees into the chest and rock across your lower back when you're there. No rush to come down, come down carefully. And then bring yourself to center. Just a little wriggle of the ankles might feel good here. Keeping your right knee into the chest, the left foot is coming to the floor and the right foot is going up towards the sky. So think if you can stack your ankle over your knee, over your hip, and your hips are in line with your shoulders, chin is slightly tucked here, breathe. Look at your toes, see if you can pull them down towards your kneecap a little bit more, get at that stretch at the back of the leg that you just gave it, and you're seated forward, fold. And then bend your knee and bring it in for a knee to chest pose. So hold the thigh or hold the shin. Keep your right foot flexed and walk your left foot a little further away from you. So as far away as the four corners of the foot is on the ground and your mid back is down. So the further it goes, if you begin to lift, just bring your foot in closer. Bring your left hand onto your hip crease and your right hand inside your knee and bring your right knee out to the sidewall. Keep the lower back level on your mat. And then bring the hand outside your knee and bring it right back in. Bring your left hand across to your right knee and your right arm out to position and begin to roll over to the outside edge of your left hip. So you're gonna go all the way to the outside edge of your left hip, the outside edge of your left leg. Keep that right heel coming in towards your sits bone. You're looking towards the sky here. Bring your left hand inside your right leg, your right knee, and bring yourself back to center, returning to your knee to chest pose. On an inhale, take your right foot up to the sky. Pull the heel up, toes down towards your Kneecap, toes wide, and exhale, bring your leg in for a comfortable hamstring stretch. Your leg is already warmed up, hopefully. Never force the stretch, ever. Wait for an inhale for that heel to go right back up to 12. Nice long leg. Imagine you're really pushing away the ceiling. And then on an exhale, soften the back of the knee, soften the leg, and let it float right back down to your mouth. Bring your left foot in a little closer to you. Left knee comes into the chest. Knee to chest pose. Thigh or shin hold. Shoulders down, foot flexed. And then take your right foot a little further away from you. So when the four corners of the right foot is down, but your mid back is down as well. Great. Bring your left hand inside your knee and your right hand onto your hip crease to give it some grounding to hold it down. And then let the knee come out to the side. Try not to collapse through the right leg. Bring your hand outside that leg and bring it back to center. Your right hand is coming on the outside of your left knee and your left arm out to position on the floor. And on an exhale, begin to come on over to the outside of your right hip. Just go over where you can, or if you can go all the way over, you're gonna be on the outside of your right leg, the outside of your right hip, your left shoulder is down, and you're looking up towards the sky. Bring your hand inside that left knee and bring yourself back to center, returning to your knee to chest pose, right foot firmly on the floor. Then bring your left foot back up to the sky, 12 o'clock, and wait for an exhale to bring it in for a hamstring stretch. Just hold on to what's comfortable for you, the back of the leg, you can hold on to your pants, whichever is the best, breathe. You can soften the knee, relax the calf muscle. Take another breath, and then bring that leg right back to 12. Take the heel up higher like you have to push away the ceiling and then on an exhale soften the back of the leg and float that left foot all the way back down to your mat. When that left foot comes down, bring your right foot back in a little closer. Take your feet nice and wide as your mat and rock your knees side to side.
then coming through center, walk your feet in so they're hip width apart. Both knees are coming into the chest. We're moving into our happy baby. Footprints go up towards the sky. Bring your hands inside your legs to take your legs out. You can hold the back of the thighs, the shins, the ankles, the feet. You can keep your arms down. And you can take that rock across your lower back in your happy baby. So see if you can get your ankles over your knees. See if you can get your thighs outside the rib cage. Never any force, but just being aware of where you are. It is called happy baby, so be as happy as you can. And then bring yourself to center. Float the legs in. Bring the heels down, keep the knees into the chest. Feet and knees hip width apart. Bring the heels of the hands onto the top of the kneecaps, flex the feet and push the knees away like the feet are pushing away a heavy door. And then bring the knees in your exhale right back into your chest. So it's your inhale taking the legs away from you. It's your exhale bringing your knees in. And just experiment where you can take these knees where your mid-back doesn't lift. So knees over hips, but if your mid-back is up, don't go that far. If it's easy for you, you can take your knees further. But just experiment, really feel it. Where is your mid-back staying down? And the next time the legs are away from you, they're staying there. So the back of the cars are facing the ground. Your mid-back is down, your abdominals are engaged here. Breathe. Bring the arms up to the sky, lift the shoulders and then drop the shoulders so the upper back and the chest is nice and wide. Flex the feet, fingers wide. Let your right thumb lead the arm to go behind you. It doesn't have to land on the floor. But just feel that stretch. And then inhale to the sky. This is too much. Simply bring your feet to the floor. Exhale, left arm behind you, as long as it will go for you. And then return. You do it one more time. Feet flex, right arm goes behind you. Nice and long and lengthened. Belly is down towards the spine here. And then return. And one more time on the left. Reach, reach, reach as far as you can. Soften what you need to, and then return that left arm. Breathe. Keeping the arms up, we're going to push the right heel away from you, like it's kicking up towards the top of a window. And then bring the knee right back to where you started. Left leg, left heel pushes up and away from you. And then return. Belly is down, there's all abdominals here. Right leg goes out, and this time, wherever you took it, you're gonna see if you can bring it down just a little lower, then bring it back up to where it was more comfortable, bring your knee in, going to the left side. Kick that heel up and away from you, take your leg a little lower, feel where your mid back stays down, bring that leg back up to where you started, and then bring that knee back in, breathe. Bring your knees in, wrap the hands around your shins, and give yourself a little rock across your back there. And then return to center. Bring the heels of the hands onto your knees, push your knees away. You know where you just went? Go to that same place. Arms up, shoulders down. So we're going to alternate. That right arm is coming behind you as your left leg goes forward and down to where it works for you. And then bring it back to center. Then the left arm goes behind as that right heel goes out and bring that leg down to where it works for you. And then bring it back to center. So it's your exhale to go out and your inhale to return. It's your exhale to go out and your inhale to return. And that arm doesn't have to go all the way to the ground. It can stay up in a V position if that feels best. And you don't have to take that leg low when your mid-back is coming off. No, we want that mid-back down. So really deep abdominal work here while you're on your back. Right. Just one more time on each side if you can. And 
And when you're done, bring your knees in, wrap your hands around your knees. Do a little rock across your lower back. And then bring your hands onto your knees. We're going to take knees in circles. Just circle the knees around. Let your mid-back go down. And as the knees go away, let your mid-back come up. Just give it a beautiful massage as you roll around on your lower back. And then take the knee circles around in the opposite direction. And then bring yourself to center. And then exhale, bring one foot at a time to the floor. Take the feet wide and rock the knees softly side to side again. And then return to center. Bring your feet in, hip width apart. Right knee is coming into the chest. Now walk your left foot away from you. You were already here before. Maybe your left leg may go straight. But if this right knee travels away from you, bring your foot back to the floor. It's just easier that way. Squeeze it a little tighter this time. Flex the foot a little deeper this time. Breathe. Break your left hand onto your hip crease, bring your hand inside your knee and take it out. See if it feels any different than what you did, oh, just a little while ago. Bring your hand outside your knee and bring it right back into your knee to chest pose. Hand is coming on the outside of that leg, right arm out. You've been here already. You know where to go over to the left side. Right shoulder down. Really flex that right foot and bring your heel in as close to what your sister bone and this time turn to look towards the right hand. Only if that's comfortable to do so. Bring the head back to center, bring your hand inside your leg to help you back. Make sure that left foot is firmly on the floor. If you're on your foot, if you're lengthened leg, you're on the back of your leg. Bring that right foot up to the sky. Return to your hamstring stretch. Is this one a little deeper than the last one? How does it feel? Bring that leg right back up. Pull the ceiling away from you. Push, push, push. And then soft bend to the knee. Float that leg down in any way it wants to float. Bring your right foot to the floor. Slide your left foot back in. Left knee into the chest. Knee to chest pose. Walk your right foot further away. Maybe this time it might go further away. Maybe you can lengthen the leg. As long as it's not creating any strain, you'll know because that left knee will travel away from you. And if it does, just bring your foot to the floor. Bring your hand onto your hip crease. Left hand inside your knee to open it out. How does this feel now? Bring your hand outside that leg to bring it back to your knee to chest pose. Right hand on the outside of your knee, left arm out to position and roll over to the outside edge of your right hip. Left shoulder stays down. And this time, if you wish, turning the head to look towards the left hand. Using the top of the spine, the neck in your rotation. See if you can bring that heel close in towards your sits bone. Really flex that foot. Bring your head back to center. Let your hand come inside your knee and bring yourself onto your back. And when you're there, bring your right foot in a little closer. Take that left foot up to the sky. Exhale it in for your hamstring stretch. Feel your stretch. How different does it feel? If it feels different at all. And then bring that leg right back to center. Imagine you have to push away the ceiling, really lengthen, lengthen. Feel those muscles cling into the bone. And on the exhale, soften the back of the knee. And let your leg float back to the floor. When you're there, take your feet nice and wide. And rock your knees side to side. And then coming through center, walk your feet in so they're hip-width apart and preparing to come in for your choice of inversion. So maybe legs up, maybe dead bug, the legs and the arms up. Maybe you want the height of a yoga blanket or a blanket or a block underneath the hips. Maybe your legs up a wall. 
maybe over a chair. But just find an inversion that works well for you to complete your practice. And when you're ready, begin to slowly float down to your mat. Let everything feel light and soft. Move slowly, mindfully. When you do connect to your mat, preparing to come in for your Shavasana. Maybe you want to put on your socks or your layers. Maybe you want a blanket to cover you. As you begin to settle, maybe take the head a little rock side to side. And then settle on the center of the back of the head. At the back of the arms, the hands be on the ground with the palms up and the fingers soft. Let the limbs be light. The entire face soft. Nothing to do. Easy breath. And very softly, bring a little motion back in through the fingers and the toes. Become aware of your breath in and out of the nostrils. And when your breath is deep enough, bring your feet to the floor. A little rock of your knees side to side. Bringing the right arm up and over beside your face and ease yourself over to rest on the right. Bring your left hand to the ground to help support you as you come up. Keeping your chin tucked as you come up through the spine. Let the head be the last to arrive up. And return to find your comfortable seat. the 
hands to your heart center. And take a bow to your heart. Easy breath. Namaste.